Okay. All right, today we're going to look at uh, three pieces of content. And uh, I've chosen these three specifically for a reason. Um, one is from Netflix, which is, um, I actually didn't know existed uh, uh, for quite some time. I think I found this about a year ago. Um, they host uh, open source content. Um, free to the public uh, to download, um, HDR10, Dolby Vision stuff, Dolby Atmos stuff, you know, there's, there's a ton of stuff on here. Um, a lot of it is, is, a lot of the content on here is to actually test encoders under certain light conditions and things like that. Very interesting, really valuable resource though, to uh, hobbyists like me. Um, that want to understand how encoding works, what settings work with potentially different content and uh, things like that. So yeah, this is Soul Levante, um, made by Netflix. Um, it's the first anime, um, digi digital, digital made anime, not drawn uh, in, in the traditional way. Um, this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've encoded a finished file um, of this um, with what I would consider the best um, settings possible for detail. Um, there's there's never any visual breakup um, or anything like that. I target 98 megabits per second. Um, because I've heard anything above 98 and uh, maybe, a, maybe a 4K player couldn't um, play that file because it's, uh, on, even if it was on disc, it's, some players might not be able to read that much information that quickly. Um, when authoring, like something to disc, uh, sometimes uh, I've heard that you can't, just can't go that high in bitrate and you you know, so I, I've just said um, I, I'm capping mine back at uh, 98 megabits per second, um, even with my tests and stuff. And uh, 98 megabits a second is more than enough for anything, any content. So yeah, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous content. The original file of this is 1000 megabits per second. So that'll give you an idea of it's, this is four minutes worth of content. Um, it's excellent, excellent stuff. And it's HDR, which um, a lot of open source content is not HDR. Um, it's just it's still SDR. Some of it is 4K, um, but it's, you know, it's not SDR. Um, anyway, next example. Again, that's pristine digital content, no grain. 2001 Space Odyssey. 2001 Space Odyssey is light grain, very light grain, very filmic. Um, yeah, really, I mean, it looks, looks really good. So uh, it, even, even, you know, that they did a, they did a good job on this, on this release. Um, I encoded it with the same settings and, uh, 98 megabits per second target, but I will show you after talking about Django real quick uh, what the actual results were. Django, probably the about as heavy a film grain as you want to go. Um, I think the hills have eyes. Uh, probably had heavier film grain, but uh, you, you know, but you know, for the most part, I don't think. Uh, I can't imagine movies being more grainy than this. It is a barrage of grain all of the time. Having enough bitrate uh, for this to resolve perfectly is, uh, well, it, it requires a movie that is, uh, how long? 91 megabit, uh, sorry. <laughs> megabits per second always on my mind. 91 minutes, 91 minutes. So realistically this disc is maxed out um the target bitrate was 
Um, I've seen the file, the original file. It was 95. I think it was. I think it was like 95.3 or 95.6, something like that. Massive bitrate. I don't think any other movie released on 4K has had that target bitrate. None. Exceptional transfer. Still, still my best transfer on 4K. 100%. Um, nothing is. I when when I reviewed this, uh, <laughs> I said nothing will ever beat this. So far, that statement is true in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's this is. I'll be honest. Like you're gonna have to do something inc incredibly special to actually beat this transfer. Every single piece of grain resolves absolutely perfect without any thickening of grain, blocking, anything like that. This is perfect. Still a reference disc. Released when? August 3rd, 2021. Incredible. Uh, just excellent excellent encode okay let's have a quick look at these files uh, extra large okay so Solavante Netflix again targeting 98 megabits per second but pristine quality uh, absolutely pristine quality uh, pure digital uh, there's two bit rates here, by the way. Uh, just sorry. Um, one is the overall bit rate, 70 megabits per second. This includes the entire file, so that's audio and video combined. Um, then you get into this section here, which is just video. So you can just see what's going on in the video. It has all sorts of stats. Um, it even one inch. It would even show my encoding settings. 68 megabits per second. If a year or two, two years ago, if you'd have told me, I mean, I was probably uh, even demanding more bitrate even back then, yeah. Um, but if you told me the average bitrate was 68 megabits per second, I was like, mm, there's no way that's going to be a perfect, perfect transfer. There's no way, all right? Why are you targeting so low? Um, I didn't target this low. Um, I targeted 98 megabits per second, but with encoder efficiencies um, and good settings, um, this goes to 68 megabits per second. It is visually lossless. This is a visually lossless encode. As far as I can tell, you, you could pixel peep on an OLED and I don't think you could find any flaw with it. Um, I'm not boasting. I'm just saying that this is the level of quality that you can get, and you don't have to have 98 megabits per second um, all of the time. Now, if you, um, I have a Oppo, uh, not an Oppo, um, Panasonic UB9000, 4K player. So this file I can put onto a USB, I put it into my player, and you can watch the content, right? Um, most of the time, though, like you see this file and it says 68 megabits per second, but you watch the file and it's like, well, most of the time it's actually 95 megabits per second. But there's, but it, this is an overall bitrate, this is an average bitrate. Sometimes the bitrate comes down um, because, again, the bits aren't needed. Um, you, you just don't need you don't need that bitrate all of the time to achieve the level of quality that I wanted. Um, interesting though, 68 megabits per second, clean, clean source. 2001 Space Odyssey. Let's see how much bitrate that required. Again, this is how much bitrate did it require for visually lossless? The overall bitrate was 82, okay, but the bitrate here was 80 exactly, 80 megabits per second exactly on light film grain content. 
why don't why are you not targeting more why why are we not targeting 90 megabits per second uh, it that's this is uh, as far as I know um, the, as much bitrate as was needed to have an acceptable level of quality acceptable is the wrong word to have a maximum level of quality like we are dealing with bleeding in my opinion bleeding edge uh, settings for the format you are pushing the format to as high as it can go and again um, you could pixel peep on this too you can't find a flaw with it every piece of grain is resolving absolutely perfectly at 80 megabits per second looks excellent so we've gone up what 12 12 megabits per second from a pure digital source to a light film source so you might be starting to get an idea now of where what is happening um, content based material and how much bitrate is needed to make that material look um, look good uh, essentially we went up 12 what do we go up when we hit Django Django is still film grain um, but it's ultra ultra heavy film grain uh, 96 megabits per second exactly same sentence exactly the same sentence no difference um, in in the sentence themselves and we have 96 megabits per second why because every single frame is being barraged and attacked with what the encoder would would uh, see as noise constantly constantly moving all over the screen all over the screen all over the screen the encoder can't predict next frames because there is action always going on in the main frames to predict things that are going to happen frames ahead of it is extremely difficult because there's so much going on in the original frame it needs this is what I would call passive bitrate it needs a cons passive consistent it needs consistent bitrate all of the time to resolve every si single thing that's going on on the screen so yeah I just think that is extremely interesting um, so from a review point of view this has given me valuable information on um, the content that I watch and review versus what to expect on bit rates if I know I'm watching an animation okay 60 megabits per second you know whatever whatever they are targeting nowadays uh, maybe not Disney but uh, you know they're probably targeting 45 <laughs> Yeah, it might, might, might be getting a little low there um, but you know that's what you get for using 66 gig discs instead of 100 um, but yeah 60 megabits per second and, and digitally shot uh, stuff with no grain like uh, Maverick Maverick file was 70 I think they targeted 70 megabits per second on that one um, look perfect basically um, yeah and that's that's what was needed to make that look good oh another one uh, the matrix uh, the last the new matrix movie released uh, it wasn't very good but the transfer was absolutely stellar I think again they're targeting around 70 um, I am gonna say this though as well like um, some companies luck out I think with a few of these releases because these companies always target those types of bit rates right whether it be film whether it be digital so they release something on film mm, looks it can look good um, but like Paramount have really proving lately that uh, they need help when it comes to resolving grain and how much bit rate they're actually uh, some of these movies are actually needing for to look good um, yeah I uh, 
I'm definitely a nerd uh, when it comes to this type of stuff. Um, took me a while to understand uh, a lot of this encoding. Lots and lots of questions uh, to people I've probably been annoying for the past year and a half, two years, trying to understand this, running my own tests, see what works, see what doesn't. Um, but this is really the result that that I have I have found. And yeah, seven roughly seventy, eighty, ninety six. You know, it. Uh, all with the same settings, and uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think? Uh, do you do any, does does anyone here also encode? And they've seen they've also seen uh, this type of results that uh, uh, you know bit rates really are dependent on the content that you are watching. Um, so yeah. I uh, just wanted to get this video out there because I, I don't think I haven't really seen many people talk about this type of stuff like even in, even in articles and written articles and things um, it's an interest to me so I'm hope it, hoping it's an interest to you um, yeah just tell me what you think and uh, thanks for watching yep